Hey, what's going on, everyone? Scott and Gage. Uh, we're here at uh, County Crossing. That's the National Guard uh, training yard over there. But uh, I wanted to do a Brotherhood of Steel fort or settlement. I have never done anything like that. Uh, so I wanted to really do a military type uh, build. And being that I'm still aligned with the Brotherhood of Steel, I'm also aligned with the railroad and the Minutemen. And, uh, you know, the Minutemen have the castle, and I kind of made that up as their base. So, And I know they've got the Brotherhood of Steel's got Boston Airport and the Pridwin and everything, but I thought it'd be cool to do another little outpost for them. And, uh, you know, hopefully by the end of the month, first of next month, mods will be out for PS4. And I really wanted to do a military checkpoint entrance. Uh, I didn't want to use a powered door or the junk fence gate. Uh, I really wanted to do a, a military outpost uh, type feel to this. So I've got the vault tech uh, guard post here. And it's, it looks cool on the outside, but the inside you can't add anything in here. Uh, which I, I really hope we could, but you know, but I thought it fit in well with a military type checkpoint to get in. And then we'll move on to this this building here. Uh, if you know this settlement, there's a destroyed house right here, and I was able to get the concrete around it pretty well to uh, hide it up. You see there, the end of it is sticking out there, and then if you go inside, you can see the the walls on the inside. But this is the security office. And I got a few guard desks in here. And then kind of made it out like a little communications room in here. Up on top, I've got two settlement beacons. One has got power, the other one doesn't. But it looks more like a communications room here. And we'll come around back. And you got the maintenance shed, which this has just got the main settlement workbench in it. And then we'll come up on top to the overseer's room or, you know, the highest ranking person. You know, I guess that would be my office up here. Then we'll come out and we'll come down here and check out the Brotherhood of Steel Research and Armory Building. Uh, I've got a powered door with two switches to keep everybody out because, you know, it's supposed to be top secret. And it's basically just my work workshop in here. And I've got one set of T60 power armor with the night paint in here also. Then when you first get this settlement, this is the only structure on in the settlement, and you can't get rid of it. You can't scrap it or anything. But I was able to rug glitch in a uh, generator in here, turn this into the gen room, and that's my Nuka Quantum power armor there, just keeping it out of the way for right now. Then we'll go over to the one of the barracks. And I wanted to, you know, really make a good military-style barracks out of this. So I set them up with beds and foot lockers and, and the regular lockers. You know, give it more of a real military-type feel to it rather than individual houses for everyone. And the same way up on top. And we'll come down to the next building, which is the Brotherhood of Steel Field Clinic. And I went back to the Pridwin and pickpocketed a lot of the uh, outfits off of them. Uh, like my doctor here at the clinic counter is wearing the doctor's outfit from the Pridwin. And then I got science officer's doctor. outfits for the surgery chair and the foreopter here. Thought it made for a really nice looking little clinic. 
And just the concrete really gives it a military vibe in here. Kind of wish I could make an outhouse out of that, out of the concrete, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So I went with the regular barn. And then because this is a self-sustaining settlement, you know, got to have a barn for your Brahmin. So then we'll come over to one of the guard posts and... I wanted to do something like this rather than the regular raised scaffolding guard posts that I normally do. Uh, so I've got the you know concrete perimeter wall and then I just lowered one of the wall pieces down and was able to fit a floor piece down with one of these military style guard posts here from vault -Tac. And you see there I got guard and they're all decked out in brotherhood of steel uniforms and and uh heavy mili uh brotherhood of steel combat armor i thought it made a really nice looking guard post for this uh, and we'll come up to another barracks over here and this is the only scaffolding i really used was to make a a you know a walkway up into the building there because with this corner right here it's got a it's on a pretty big hill so i needed to make it up a little you know build it up a little bit and then i've got robots working all of my food and then just more barracks up on top of this on the upper level and then we'll come over to the commissary and I wanted to get it, uh, make it look a lot like, you know, Proctor Teagan's little room on the Pridwin. And uh, that's more mods that I'm hoping will come out is that, you know, metal great wall that he has on his. But I got my general trader in here, my clothing guy over here. Uh, to, you know, and I really wanted to go for a military type uh commissary not so much individual stores you know so like new recruits are sent here and they come down to see the clothing guy to get their uniform then you come upstairs and i got my armor store and my weapon store so you would get your uniform downstairs and then come up to see the armorer to get to get your armor Then I've set up the uh, weapon shop over here on this side. And I tried to, you know, really use just the weapons that the Brotherhood of Steel uses. You know, some ammo crates, some grenades laying around, mines, the Gatling lasers and the miniguns. And everybody, I've got them decked out with laser rifles and things like that. I really like the way that commissary came out. You know, other mods I'm looking forward to other than the steel grade is like uh, to be able to put full shelves on uh, on the uh, on these. You know, to fill them up with different items and stuff so they can't, I think they're like static shelves or something like that so they can't get knocked over. And then we'll come around over here to the mess hall or the cafeteria. And I got lots of booths laying around. Dispensers. Got the soda fountain here. The cooking stove. Little sink. The cappuccino machine. And of course the decked out in Brotherhood Fatigues. Then the settlement gets attacked. There are There is a spawn point right over here at the end of the food. So I've got some of the turrets pointing inward. Then I wanted to keep this little part of the fence because you can't build that. You can't hang a lantern on a post like that. And I really like the way that looks. So <laughs> that's, I wanted to keep that. A little sitting area around one of the campfires. This one's actually got two of them. Doc Weathers, he sits around the campfire. But I place a, another Bunker Hill spot over here with chairs so they can all sit down. Then another 
guard post here because the enemies spawn right across the street over there. Then I've left this power armor here hoping that when the settlement gets attacked that one of my guards will jump into this power armor. So that way I can have a guard running around with power armor there. You can see my guard there with his Gatling laser walking back and forth. So I'm really hoping that this settlement gets attacked soon so he can jump in the power armor. And then I can have the power armor guy walking around. And that's our Brotherhood of Steel outpost here. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. I appreciate that so much. And of course, you know, if you got any questions or feedback or anything, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer questions or just talk about the settlement. And then don't forget to subscribe to us. We got more videos coming out. I think my next one, I might uh, go up to Green Top Nursery. Or uh, I'm thinking about going back over to Grey Garden and redoing that one. I got some more ideas for that one. Or maybe even Finch Farm. Or if you guys got another uh, settlement that you guys want to see, leave a comment. We'll see what everybody thinks. So as always, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.